Alright, so what's going on, Amar Dreams? I'm new. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I know the title and the thumbnail are not clickbait. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get floating text using commands on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, I've seen a few videos around YouTube claiming that they got floating text using commands. Um, however, it's either with an add on or they don't actually show how to do it. However, today, this is a legit method of how to get floating text using commands. I didn't actually figure this one out myself, so I want to give credit to Swike. A link to their video will be in the description below. So go show them some support like you're showing me, um, because they made this command video and they may make more in the future. And obviously, massive thanks to them because it was because of them this was possible before i do carry on though if you haven't already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be very very appreciated you can join the insane army and you can have this ongoing rapidly growing community and you can also become an insane member if you'd like i appreciate whatever you choose to do if you want to support the channel even more than you already are uh, then you can become an insane member either way let's get into the video so i'm going to start off by showing you how it works and then i'll show you the command to do it so what you're going to want is an NPC. So right now I can just click block this and I get a spawn NPC. Uh, the way you can get an NPC normally is if you go into the chat and you do slash summon uh, NPC and it will spawn an NPC like this. Um, there's also an egg. I can't remember what number it is. I'm sure the comments will be plastered with it. It was the exact same in my custom villager trades. Um, but there is an egg that you can write slash give whatever. It will be in the comments down below if you want to see it. But for now this is how I get an NPC and if you want to click block it it'll give you the NPC egg. So you want to place this down now and you want to name it whatever. So you want to name, uh, let's just call it insane, in, insane orbit. Okay, there we go, right? We've, we've named it insane orbit. And you can see it kind of looks like that text there. However, why is that one floating and this one isn't? That's because of this command block right here. So if I affect this with invisibility, it will not work, it'll hide the name. So you don't actually want to do that. The way to get colored text is you want to do this. Um, I, that's, that, that's a down arrow on PC. On, on Xbox, it's like a, a, a certain sign. I showed how to do it in my colored text video, so you can go and check it out there. Um, but this is a custom, and you can see the NPCs are invisible. And then the command you want is a repeat, unconditional, always active, and it's slash play animation at E, type equals NPC, comma, I equals five, animation dot creeper dot swelling i99 so what this is doing is playing an animation of an entity that's a type of npc so you can see it's the npc there in the radius of five and then it's animation dot creeper dot swelling i99 if you ask me why it makes it invisible i have no clue i don't know i just know it works and it's pretty cool the only issue with it really is if you walk up to it and you right click it it will take you into the villager um but when you're in survival um if i jump into survival quickly um, game on S at S and I, and I right click it you can see it just looks like that and um, you can always place barrier blocks around it if you don't want people being able to click it so maybe if you want to have like a custom scoreboard the only issue is you can't make it go underneath it's just one long line but it works either way and then when I turn off the command block here you can see I have a oh, oh crap okay so so um, let, let me let's see if this works actually um, you can you can kind of see it there like coming back. I, oh, oh, that's why then the creeper swelling makes it tiny was, <laughs> That's actually pretty sick. Oh my days Okay, so I can just make myself like a tiny mob um, And so we're actually just gonna turn it back on now to so it goes invisible But you can see there is an NPC there. However, the creeper swelling makes it tiny So it's technically invisible and you can't see it. So if I right click down here, but yeah, okay, it still works. I, I, I don't know then um, all I know is it's, it's a sick hologram and it, I mean it, it works and obviously thank you to the person who showed how to do it um, But yeah, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you did all enjoy if you did don't forget to smack that like button It'd be very very appreciated um, You know it's, your support is always appreciated and it means the world if you are new around here Don't get to subscribe as well as hit location bell so you don't miss an upload you're here for commands I do command block tutorials, so I hope you stick around to see some more Comment down below what you want to see next or what you thought of the video and the other command ideas videos. I've got like seven, eight pages of just ideas for next year. So if if you if you want to leave some more for me to write down, then I'd be also appreciated. But thank you all for watching. Have a great day for you're watching this. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.